And tonight we're speaking to former State Department of Health Commissioner Dr. Jaxel Garcia over the phone about the coronavirus. His daughter attended Central Connecticut State University, which is just one of many universities to shut down this week. Now he's currently in Washington, D.C. and will then head over to Puerto Rico on Wednesday. The last we heard Puerto Rico has three confirmed cases of COVID-19. All right, so good evening, Dr. Garcia. Can you hear me right now? I can hear you well, Carmen. Well, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fine, doing fine. Now, I understand uh, you're heading to Puerto Rico, and after everything Puerto Rico has gone through recently with the hurricanes and the earthquakes, I mean, could it handle another epidemic of this magnitude? Yes. As, as a matter of fact, uh, we're working with them to try to protect the the island a little much better and they have several of the suspected cases came from cruises and from traveling uh, they just had a a flight that came from spain and uh, they are they failed to um screen the patients or screen the passengers and now they are scrambling to um, find them so we are going to be there to help them uh, strengthen the capacity now, I also want to talk about um, during the president's news conference today, the U.S. Surgeon General said, you know, quote, almost all people will recover. But we've been told those with underlying health conditions, for example, like the woman in New York who passed away today, are most at risk. So really, what are the chances of someone actually recovering from it? So if you are over 65, so you have um cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, or any disease that will decrease your immune system, um, the mortality rate for those patients is close to 3.4%, um, which is significant, and, and that's a concerning thing. Uh, the other issue that, that I think is very important is the Stafford Declaration that will send over $50 billion for the states, uh, which includes free coronavirus testing, uh, support for food security. And food security means uh, food for the kids that are not going to school now. So those breakfasts and lunches that were given before, many families, those are the only meals that the kids have. And the big thing for Connecticut as well is the support for hospitals and the National Guard. I understand that the National Guard in Connecticut has been activated, which I think is a very good a way to protect in the, the state. All right, Dr. Garcia, I just want to thank you again for speaking to us. And, you know, of course, we want to wish you safe travels to Puerto Rico on Wednesday. Uh, thank you. And uh, hello to everybody in Puerto Rico, including uh, my daughter, uh, Kristen. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Bye bye. All right, now switching gears again, that was Dr. Garcia. As more school districts make the decision to close, one city is taking actually one step further to combat coronavirus. New Britain is implementing a citywide curfew. The city will be enacting a 10 p.m. curfew for children 16 years and younger. Mayor Erin Stewart made the announcement Friday on Facebook, and she 